Hello guys, today I will review two of the older models of tablets but still nevertheless powerful uh, Apple iPad 4 and on the right I have the Samsung 12.2 inch uh, Note Pro. So I've been using these tablets for some time now and uh, I found both of them um, to be brilliant um, having their own, own advantages. Now the good thing about uh, each of them is their independent unique features uh, as we all know about Apple we know their features we know how they work and the iPad 4 is the older one before the Air came out so but it, but it's still um, uh, on the market at about 450 to 500 dollars and the Note 12.2 Pro is not in the market but this now is uh, well above 800 dollars uh, uh, Let's start with the Samsung 12.2 inch uh, Galaxy Note Pro. Uh, as you can see, the, the smoothness and the liquidity uh, with which this uh, huge tablet operates itself is uh, a great uh, advantage. This screen size uh, compared to the normal 9.7 8 inch tablets, this one also has a stylus which is used to perform a variety of functions and as you can see, uh, I can do a screen write by just clicking here and I can write on the screen and scribble any note I want to scribble and save it. So this is the Note 12.2. 12, uh, 12 uh, the the normal, normal features of the Note as we all know from the 10.1 inch tablet to 12.2. This is uh, one of the advantages of the 12.2 Pro. Um, also, um, the battery life on this one was kind of a bit uh, uh, running out faster, so I had to download the uh, Juice Defender, which is a very good software, as you can see here. It is a, it is a, um, a kind of a battery uh, energy uh, conservator which saves energy by shutting down the Wi-Fi when you're not using it and uh, it also adjusts the brightness and the various adaptability features based on the user's needs and demands thereby conserving energy as much as it can and once I did download the Juice Defender I've been getting good battery I've been using it for about three days now and it's still 59% so now let's go to uh, the iPad uh, 4 as we know this iPad uh, 4 is, uh, is, is, a, is a good um, Apple tablet. It's a bit bulkier as you can see. It's not as thin as the iPad Air 1 and 2, but uh, it has its uh, own uh, unique features. Like this is like really fast and it's the iPad Air 4. So the charger, you can tell it is, it takes the regular iPhone 6, 7 plus chargers. So uh, it's good. And uh, Regarding the battery, uh, that's the most important, for me, the most important thing in any tablet or a mobile device is the battery. And that's why I prefer the iPhones and the iPads because they have a better battery than the Samsung. Um, this one is giving me about two days of battery life with regular usage. And this model I have with me is the Wi-Fi 64 GB model only. And uh, this one here is a 32 GB Wi-Fi only model. Um, I've been using these tablets and both of them I have uh, liked their unique features and uh, I will also be reviewing the iPhone 7 Plus later on and the smaller tablets I have but these two I think they are a must for any student, engineer, any kind of uh, person who watches uh, Netflix and other videos on YouTube. These have brilliant displays, the, the, the quality of the display, the sound is all all right. Um, so all in all, these two tablets are a must have for every person who is an enthusiast about tablets. And these tablets are below the thousand dollar mark, so they should be easily um, uh, kind of obtainable for everyone. Well, I'll be doing some more features of uh, other tablets I have. Thank you for listening, have a great day.